Welcome to Function Farm. Let's learn about functions. Functions allow you to name a set of commands. So you can take some commands and like package them up and call them a function. And then you can later call that function. You just want to make sure that you define your function before you use it. So here's an example. I have a function that I'm defining called spin. Now I have an equal sign and in parentheses is the parameter of my function, more on that later, dash greater than sign. And then within the function, you can use that parameter. So your function becomes kind of like programmable. You can pass different values into this parameter and your function can do slightly different things each time. So this is the function, and then later in the code, I'm calling the function spin, and I'm passing it for. So this argument for gets passed into the parameter n. So n becomes for, and then I'm, I'm spinning four times. If I would have had spin five, then I would have spin, spun five times. Let's look at an example. Here's a challenge that uses a function. We're defining a function called go to, and we have the parameter a. So we, we're going to use that parameter a within the function. So we say turn to a and step distance to a. But what is a? Well, when you call the go to function, you're defining what a will be. So go to bridge, bridge becomes A. So we're turning to bridge and we're stepping the distance to the bridge. And then the next line says go to match. So match becomes A. So match is being passed to this A, passed into this A parameter. So now we are saying really turn to match and step the distance to match. So you could see here, the mouse will go to the bridge and then go to the match, grab it, and then we basically want to turn around and go to, you could use this little go to button down here, go to the bridge, and then we're going to go to the pile, and then we'll drop it. Now, You've been using functions all along, like the turn to command is really a function. Step is a function. Distance to is a function. These are built in functions. Now grab and drop are functions also, but they have these empty parentheses. And that's because nothing is being passed in. You don't have an argument. So if you don't have an argument following your function, you have to use the empty parentheses. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this and look right here next to the function as we run. Okay, so it's telling you A is bridge and then A was match. Now A is bridge, A is pile. So it's giving you a little information as you run it. Let's look at another example. Here's a challenge where we have two functions the go to function and the collect function. And I wanted to show you this one because the within the collect function, we're calling the go to function. So a function can call another function. Uh, so let's look at the challenge itself. We have the mouse wanting to pick up all of these matches and bring them to the pile. So if we look at the main code, we're cycling through all of the matches by using a for loop for M in matches, and then we're collecting M. So each time through this loop, M is a different match. The first match um, will be matches with index zero. So M will be, this M will be matches with index zero. So when we say collect M, we're passing to the E parameter matches with index zero. 
So we're going to go to matches with index 0. So that's going to get passed to the p parameter because we're calling the go to function. And we will turn to matches with index 0 and step the distance to matches with index 0. And then we'll grab it and step negative 10 and then drop it. Why are we stepping negative 10? I think that's our problem. We need to fix that because we just want to bring it to the pile and drop it. So we could say go to the pile. And we'll always want to go to the pile um, to drop it. So we could just say pile. Okay, now when we run this, look at right next to each of the functions. Um, there's going to be a little posting that will show you what P and E is each time. And that will change depending on what we're passing in as M. So let's take a look. Okay, you see how matches of zero, matches of with index one, matches with index two. Okay. Very good. Now it's your turn to use functions. Good luck.